Good evening. Welcome to Funfold Friday. I'm Doreen DeSivas and I am from It Begins With Ink and Paper and I'm so happy that you're joining me whether it is on the live tonight or on the replay or on Facebook. Um, so thank you for um, your support. And don't forget to shout out a hello. Make sure you know, um, tell me where you're watching from, um, just to give me um, an idea of who's here and who's not. All right, so everyone needs a wild card sometimes, and for that special person. And I actually made this wild card last night, and it is an example of the type of fold we're going to do tonight and I just wanted to show you a couple of things about it before we begin but it's definitely one of those wow cards it's not a card that you would sit down and make 25 of them um, it is a card that d does take a little bit of time a lot of um, cardstock and designer series paper you'll see that in a minute so let's get started um, so this is a card that I actually made for um, one of my dearest friends um, for her birthday. I am very late on her birthday. I actually bought her present last April for her December, end of December birthday. And I just had no idea where I put her present. So, and as some of you know, um, I've been on medical leave for surgery, so, you know, I kind of put things on hold, but um, I found her present, and I'm so excited. So, I'm going to be mailing it to her, and I wanted to make her a really special card. So, this is it. So, I used the um, Abigail um, Rose Suite, and this ribbon comes with the suite, and what I really like about it is that you can stamp on it. So let me see if you can see that. Yes. Um, so you can actually stamp on it. So I stamped on both sides because when I tie the ribbon, I wanted to make sure you could see the stamping. So let me put that aside. And what I used, because this card is bulky and a little bit larger, I used our um, craft gift boxes. So they come in a package that looks like this. And then this is what it looks like. On the inside, there's a, a film over the uh, window sheet so that when you pull it off, it makes it nice and shiny. But I just stamped on this. I put some post-it notes on the opening here so that I wouldn't get any ink on it and created this simple box. And it has the adhesive on it, as you saw, so it's very easy um, to put together. And so this, what I made tonight, and I have not tied this bow yet, because I know that once I get it tied and it's perfect, if I untie it, I'm not going to get it perfect again. So I'll tie it up before I mail this out tomorrow. But what I'm making is called a concertina pocket um, fun fold. It's a very fancy fun fold and it, as I said, has a lots of parts and different um, finishes. So here's the front. The back is where you can put your greeting and write um, your information or your note or whatever you'd like to say. Now a concertina fold is actually just a fancy name for an accordion fold. So somewhere in a concertina um, card, you should see an accordion fold. So when I open this up, you can see on the inside where the accordion fold is. So this one is made with pockets. So it has two great pockets. I created, um, I'm just putting bookmarks in my two pockets um, to give to my friend. And I can also put gift cards in it, money, um, whatever I want, a little letter, note, uh, but those are the pockets. And then I have a greeting to a friend that makes me smile, and then I just stamped some of those leaves like I did on the ribbon. But it's a pretty substantial card, and it makes like what looks like a little booklet. So you're not going to be able to fit this in a normal um, envelope. So that's why I use the gift box. So 
I'm going to make a different design because I thought, my goodness, um, who else do I have a special birthday coming up? And my brother. So I'm going to make a card that's fitting for my brother. So here is all of the cardstock that you need and the dimensions, the scoring dimensions, um, the cutting dimensions. So this I am going to post uh, in the comments on my Facebook page, and I'm going to also post it in the video description on my YouTube channel. So instead of you trying to take a screenshot or trying to write everything down, I am just going to post that at the end. So I will try to say what everything is as I'm going through this, but just so you know it will be posted. So here's all the stuff I need, quite a bit, as I said. So you are going to need six, so I'm going to just keep my uh, notes next to me because this was too hard to remember everything. So for the mint macaron, these are two inches by one and a half inches, and you need six of them. And you're going to need two pieces of basic white that are one and one eighth by one and three eighths to layer on. And then you're going to need some designer series paper, which I have already layered on these pieces just to save some time of the same measurements. So you need six total of um, six of the basic white and designer series paper and six of the mint macaron. I used the deckled rectangle dies to cut these two pieces out, two from the mint macaron and two basic white. And I have in my direction, so I used the deckled rectangle dies and here they are. And I used the fifth one in, starting from the inside. So one, two, three, four, five. Five was for the white and six was for the mint macaron. So that's how you're going to count those. Remember, starting from the small um, die. I have some white, basic white scraps for doing some stamping on it. I cut two pieces of navy. We're gonna make two bookmarks. I've got one already made and I did attach the designer series paper. I'm using the By the Bay designer series paper. So for the bookmarks, it's just under two inches by five inches. And the designer series paper for the bookmarks are four and one eighth by one and three fourths. Now, I did some corner rounding, rounding and I also did um, a punch for the top. I could use my um, tag um, dies to do this, but I actually used um, a retired punch. So for the corner rounder, I used this punch here, which is retired, and I used this punch here to get the um, design for the bookend. Um, you can use whatever you have around your house. Um, you can keep the top. You can just punch a hole in it, but um, those are for the bookmarks. And then I needed four sheets of the mint macaron die cut at three and seven eighths by five and one half. And then I needed two sets of designer series paper, and I used these two, that were cut at three and three quarter by five and three eighths. And then I already did some adhering so that I don't have to do that um, later. I'm going to need two more pieces of mint macaron that are um, three and three fourths by five and a half. And I am going to need designer series paper to go on top of this that measures three and five eighths by five and three eighths. So, and I'm going to show you, I've already cut one. I'm going to show you how to cut this. I have already done some pre-stamping and fussy cutting. So I'm going to just put that aside. We'll use that later. I'm also using this beautiful blue and white variegated ribbon. We'll set that aside. 
And then I'll need three other pieces of um, Night of Navy. This is for the concertina um, fold. It is two and a quarter inches by ten and a half, and I'll go over what the score marks are. And then I have two pieces that are just a quarter inch difference. Um, so these are, these measure um, um, eight and three quarters by five and three quarters and eight and a half by five and three quarters. And so, and again, I'll show where all of those score lines are. All right, so let's get started. I am using um, tonight, um, this is a brand new set. I just started using it today, is the Sea Turtle set. And I just had so much fun. My brother loves turtles, so I thought this was the perfect. And you'll notice it doesn't have any greeting or sentiments with it. So I am using the sentiments from the framed florets. All right, let's get started. Okay, first things first, let me get out my score, my scoring tool. So let's start with the concertina fold. As I said, this was um, two and a quarter by ten and a half, and it's going to be scored every one and three quarter inches. So it is scored at one and three quarters. I like to use the wider end on my scoring. So one and three quarters, three and a half. And again, these um, dimensions will be posted after the video is done. Um, three and a half, five and a quarter, seven, and eight and three quarters. There we go, all set. Now, this is my larger piece. My larger piece is the outer um, base of the card and so it's going to be scored at, let me just make sure I'm reading this right, four and an eighth and four and five eighths. So it's going to be a half inch separating it. Oh, I just scored it at four and a quarter. Okay, I messed that up. Let me just get another sheet and I'll cut it really quick. Sorry about that. I knew I was going to make a mistake. So this one is eight and three quarters by five and three quarters. So let's get the arm out on my cutter. So eight and three quarters. by five and three quarters. Okay, let's try that again. This was the inside. I probably wouldn't, I just would have scored again, but this one's going to be on the outside. So I'm scoring, as I said, at four and one eighth and four and five eighths. So I'm going to have a half inch I'm separating those two sides. And then my smaller piece, oops, that's the larger one that I made the mistake on. Get that out of the way. The smaller one is scored at four inches and four and a half. So four inches and four and a half. There we go. All the scoring is done. So next what I'd like to do is to get all my stamping done. And then we'll do some cutting. So, let's get out my ink pads. So to start with, just get these papers. And over here. All right. So this sea turtle stamp has a really cool thing that it does. So let me show you on this piece of paper here. The All right, so we can make this a two-step stamping stamp. 
so cool by um, turning it over to the flat side on the back first. And I'm going to take the two colors I'm using for my turtles are the Mint Macaron and the Knight of Navy. And I'm going to stamp this flat surface onto my piece of cardstock. There we go. It's okay if there's some things that didn't get stamped up. I see that there's a little piece of cardstock that cut on it. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my small turtle. Make sure I get him on the right because I need a bigger block for that. Let me just put this on and put him upside down. I'm going to do the same thing. And stamp him on the other piece. There we go. We've got those done. I'm going to close up this ink. And what I need to do next is actually clean the sides. So I'm going to clean those real quick. Because now I am going to turn them over to the correct side. And what makes this really easy and so cool is because these are clear stamps, we're a, we don't need a stamp positioner or we just can look right through the stamp. So I am going to start with my little one and I'm going to now ink up this side and I am going to go right over the mint macaron and here we go is that the coolest thing so you just get this really intricate um turtle i'm going to do the same thing with and let me just clean this because i need this block for for another stamp And then I've turned this over, so now let's just ink up the big stamp, making sure everything got inked. And you'll see why it's okay if there's a, you know, a blemish or something on your stamp. And I'm just going to line this up again. And look at that. So cool just is the coolest thing I think the way these stamps work we have a couple sets that do this in our catalog so it's um we have a mountain set that does it it's just a cool different way um to stamp now the other things that we're going to be stamping um on the inside on one of these I'm going to be stamping for a special person on a special day so this is for the birthday greeting and this just fits on this there we go I can actually go over a little bit let me try that good thing there's two sides of paper I think this will be better there we go fits on much nicer so I'm going to set that aside and then I also need to do some stamping on both of these. Let me just step some of these aside. Um, I'll need the blue ink in just a second. I'm going to use for this um, pool party ink for this next. And I'm going to use this um, big bubble stamp. And what I'm going to do is actually ink up the stamp and stamp off and then stamp on just to give it to not have it be so dark so stamp off and then stamp on and I'm just going to do this the whole um, width of the paper and then I'm going to come in 
and just fill in some of those sections that um, the way the stamp is, we didn't get the kind of bubbles I would like. There we go. So there's that one. And what I'm going to do on this one is take the larger greeting, which is going to go on the back of the card. I'm going to stamp that kind of in the center. And I want to make sure I have room to be able to um, write my brother's name and sign my name. And then I'm going to have at the bottom some little fishes in the same color um, swimming across the bottom of the card. So this is what it looks like so far. So I'm going to set that aside. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this piece. I'm going to stamp in, this is going to be the front. So I'm going to use the same color combination. And I'm going to stamp on and off. And this time I think I'm going to go this way and just to have a little bit of a different um, look. And again, I'm going to go in where maybe some of the bubbles didn't um, get as dark as I would like it. There we go. That looks awesome. Okay, I am done now with the pool party ink and that stamp. And so what I'm going to be stamping at the bottom is celebrate. And I'm going to stamp that in the Knight of Navy. And I just got a bunch of Knight of Navy ink on my hand. Let me just wipe some of that off so I don't get Knight of Navy on everything else. Clumsy tonight. And on this piece, I am going to be attaching the giant sea turtle that I stamped here and then I just fussy cut it out. So that I've already done and I'm going to put this right going across um, the front of the card. And I'm going to be using my Stampin' Seal. You're going to see me use a couple different kinds of adhesives tonight. Um, I My go-to adhesive is Stampin' Seal. But um, I definitely use my um, the adhesive based on what um, I'm actually doing for the project. So to make sure it has, I need to just, of course, change my my adhesive. Quick and easy to do. So you just line this up where those raised pieces are, put your lid back on, and you're set to go. And so this is going to go on my other deckled rectangle. So that's set, and this one is all set as well. And it is going to go on the other rectangle. So those pieces are done. So I had stamped um, for a special person on a special day. This is going to uh, go on one of those little rectangles. So that's all said and done. Now, I have already done my stamping 
for, I was going to stamp some more, but I think I'll just um, move on. So I can have all these different pieces together. And I stamped a sandflower and two starfish that I'm just going to add to the other piece. And then I'm just going to use a little dimensional to raise this one. There we go. Okay, so this is coming along. We've got everything stamped and those pieces put together. And now we have to do some cutting. So all of these are together. All right, so let's go to ribbon back up and add our okay good all right so we need to do some cutting all right so here I have what is going to be the inside of our pocket fold card, our concertina card. So I'm going to score it and just crease it really well. I, this is going to stand up like this and go into what's going to look kind of like a little book. And what I need to do so that I can have my pocket is I am going to be um, putting on, there will end up being um, designer series paper on the inside of the card and these two pieces are going to be going in this so I need this to be cut because this piece is actually going to form the pocket so to do that let me start with this so you may have noticed on my well maybe not on my um grid paper that I've drawn three lines in. What this measures, it shows me where I need to put my different points on my paper. So, and on one side, I'm going to put it right up against the edge where that's fine, but on the other side, it needs to go on this side. So my designer series paper needs to be marked at two inches. So here's two inches right here. I've already marked it. There's my line. This one needs to be marked at two and an eighth inch. So here it is there. And then this piece on um, this side needs to be marked at two and a quarter inches. And so it needs to be marked on both sides. So that's why I put um, the line. And of course, I didn't make it long enough for this piece. So let me start with marking it at two and a quarter on this side. Make sure I can see that. Yep. Yeah. And then it needs to be marked at two and a quarter on this side as well. So there's my mark on both of those. So everything's marked and we're ready to do some cutting now. Let me just get everything out of the way. Bring my cutter back out. So this is how we're going to do that um, cutting. And this is gonna help me um, remember which. So this is going on this side. So when I cut this, I need to make sure, you know, I think I put my paper on the wrong side because this was actually supposed to be, it'll still work. Will it? No, 
I did this one wrong when I did it earlier today. I put my paper on the wrong side. Okay, I'm not going to worry about it. This one is going to go here. So I'm going to make a cut. Um, the cut is going to go from here to here. And we'll worry about the paper afterwards. So what I'm going to do is line up this score line right here and line up this mark. And I'm going to cut that triangle off. So just make sure I have it lined up the right way, slice that off, and here is my first um, piece. And then what I'm going to do is line up this top edge with my mark again, and there we go. So now we have both of these um, sides. So this is going to go on the side right here. So let me just put that. I was just had it on the wrong side. And then this is going to go from this top corner here down to the pencil mark. And then I'm going to do the same right here. Oops, I moved it, so let me just make sure it's still lined up okay. And there we go. Let's get those out of the way. And then this is going to be adhered to this. And if you've cut them right, you're just going to have, for, for this case, this little tiny piece of just a little tiny edge. Now I have my stamping up eraser. I just want to take that pencil mark now off. If I didn't use this as an eraser, then I would have some discolorization. So I want to make sure I use the right, right one. All right, so let's attach this. Again, I'm using my stamp and seal. And I'm gonna want to attach this so it's even. There we go. And then I'm going to attach this one to this piece. It was hard to decide which um, designer series paper, which side of the designer series paper to use because um, they are all so nice, but I wanted the pocket to be kind of a neutral color. And now we can attach this piece. So as I said, these will be our um, pocket pieces. Okay, now we're going to our um, base. So we'll give that a nice crease. So this is going to be the inside. And the inside, let's get our pieces, are going to be um, these pieces here. So I love how you can see the, the gold um, fish. So let me attach these. They're going to be the inside of the card. So I'm just going to center this and center this piece. This is such a great card. Again, I want to thank everyone who's been subscribing to my YouTube channel. It just makes me so happy to see that um, 
people are um, tuning in and watching. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the support on my Facebook page. I love that people are tuning in on that as well. It just makes me um, very proud of what I'm doing and to have people watching from all over the place. And this is the front and the back of my card. So it's going to close like this. And what we're going to be doing, and I'm just going to make sure this is creased on the right side. This is going to go into our card like this. So just to give you an idea of what's going to happen. So this will be our pocket. So I'm going to be using two different types of adhesive. And I'm going to start on the back of this. And I'm going to be adding my tear and tape. This is a really, really strong adhesive. And for what for attaching this to the inside. I want a really strong adhesive. So let's and I'm going to put um, two pieces um, both ways so that I will have a really strong hold. I'm only doing the bottom and the one side because I don't want to seal shut my pocket. Now, I am actually going to use liquid glue for mounting this into the um, outer card. And I'm going to use liquid glue because I want to have um, the ability to move this if I need to. So if I'm not setting it up correctly, then uh, I'll have that. So I'm just gonna go down and add that. And now what I'm going to do is to line this up. and make sure it's going to fold properly. So there we go. It looks like it's folding great. So now we can do um, the rest of this. So I want to make sure it's not hanging over. All right, so let's get this backing to the tape off. Like I said, this is not the type of card you would make, sit down and make 25 of, as it's definitely a wow card. But it is definitely great um, for those really special moments. This would make a great um, wedding card where you could add cash or a gift certificate. Now this is going to go um, over to the first, over right to the edge. It's not going to go all the way to the edge. It's going to go to the edge of that paper. So we'll add this to both sides. And that way we'll have our two pockets. Again, just make sure it's going to close okay and it looks like it is all right so the next part is our um, concertina fold so like I said it's just a just an accordion fold so I'm going to just so it's a valley fold mountain fold valley fold and so on 
and you just go back and forth um, doing those folds. Like with any accordion fold, you definitely want to um, have your creases be really nice. So it's going to look like this. So it's going to that same edge, not quite all the way over. So what I'm going to do is let me get my pieces out. They're over here. So we are going to have a piece here. Greeting here, a piece here, a piece here, a piece here, and a piece here. Perfect. So I am just going to add these, just center them on each section. So these are the same designer series papers that I used um, on the front and the inside of the card. And then of course the two um, stamped pieces. So one has the greeting for a special person on a special day and the other one has just some stamped images. The um, starfish and the sand dollar. I'm going to use liquid glue to attach this to the booklet again um, because as I said the it will give me um, some movement and that's definitely you know some adjustment if I need to so here we go. I'm going to start with this end and I'm just going to add my glue. You don't need a ton. And that is going to go right over here to that edge. And I'm just going to push it down a little bit. And then I'm going to do the same thing here and add some glue. And this end is going to go all the way over here as well. And I want to just make sure I'm putting it in the same place. And when it closes up, it's going to close to make that, you know, it's going to show that thickness of the book. And then that's what it's going to look like when it's flat. And that's what it will look like when it is standing. And it's hard to see that um, with the light. So now let me just, let's go to the... Um, to our bookmarks. So I love giving bookmarks because people still read books um, that are not electronic and it's nice to have a bookmark. So I, like I said, I already taped the designer series paper and I pre-stamped the sea turtles and I cut them out so it's just such a festive um a festive um bookmark and I'm going to take this ribbon and I'm going to put it end to end and I'm going to cut the ends there we go and then to get it to look like this this type of knot I'm going to be putting the folded in through the punched top and I'm going to bring that up, open up the loop 
and put the two ends through. And then if I pull them separately, that will tighten up the bookmarks. And so then, as I said, the bookmarks are going to go right into the pocket. And I just want to make sure I get those sea turtles in fine. And there we go. So now the inside of the book is done. So now the next part of this is to put the ribbon around it um, so that we can tie a bow. So what I'm actually going to do on the front here, I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive and put the ribbon down. And then on the back, I'm going to do the same thing. Just to give it something to hold it in place so it won't move while I am putting on the top part. So we have the front of our um, card that has the celebrate on it and the larger sea turtle. So I'm going to just put some adhesive on the back of that. And there we go. And then we have the back of our card, which has the greeting and a place for me to put the name and sign. If I'm going to write something, um, in this case to my brother, I can put a little note um, in the pocket inside. So there's the back. And now I can tie this together. And then my last stop will be making the um, box to put it in. So here's this one with the sea turtle. Celebrate for a special person on a special day. All of our embellishments inside. And then the back with the greeting. And then here's the other one I made with the box. This is another happy birthday with the Abigail Rose Suite. Open up, have very similar insides, just different color scheme and paper. And then the back. And then the um, decorated gift box. That's going to be holding it and the stamped ribbon that is going to be closing it. So that is Fun Fold Friday for tonight. Isn't this an awesome, awesome project? I was so excited um, to share this one with you um, because I just, there are times you just need a wow card and this definitely fits it and it's also a fun fold. So thank you so much for joining me tonight on Facebook. Thank you for tuning into the replay and thank you for tuning in on the post on YouTube. I hope you have a great weekend. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.